All right, for this, what we're going to be looking at is the specific heat or calorimetry of certain metals. All right, what we have here is I have a scale. I've got a scale. I'm going to zero the scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the mass of this aluminum cylinder. So the mass of the aluminum cylinder is 18.253 grams. 18.253 grams. Now I'm going to record the mass of the copper cylinder. The mass of the copper cylinder is 56.342 grams. The mass of the copper cylinder is 56.342 grams. 56.342 grams. Okay? All right, this water has been boiling for about 10 minutes now, and I'm going to re record the temperature of the water that's boiling. It's slowly rising, it's rising. The thermometer's taking its good, sweet time. According to this scale, the temperature of the boiling water is 96 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the boiling water is 96 degrees Celsius. I'm going to gently place the copper cylinder in, and I'm going to gently place the aluminum cylinder in, and I'm going to let them sit in the boiling water for 15 minutes. Okay, now what we're going to do next is I'm going to pour 75 milliliters into each nested calorimeter. So this nested calorimeter is going to be for the aluminum. And this nested calorimeter is going to be for the copper, which should be labeled there. I will let the distilled water sit in the cups for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to record the temperature of the distilled water in each cup prior to putting the aluminum cylinders into these cups, okay? All right, so the temperature of the water of the aluminum is 17 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the water of the copper is also 17 degrees as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the copper cylinder into the copper nested calorimeter, and we'll see what happens to the temperature after I do that. So it is now placed in there, and I'm going to make sure that the thermometer does not touch the cylinder, because that would give us an artificially higher temperature. And as I see it right now, the temperature is rising. It has surpassed 20 degrees Celsius. It has surpassed 21 degrees Celsius. I take that back. I believe it has stopped at... It looks to me, that the final temperature, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the aluminum cylinder. I'll take the aluminum cylinder out of the hot water and very quickly place that into the nested calorimeter for the aluminum and we'll slowly monitor the temperature we'll monitor the temperature so long as the thermometer does not touch does not touch the aluminum cylinder That appears to be at 21 degrees Celsius. Okay.